Okay, it looks like we have another one of those quests that pretty much just says, well, I hope you found the very obscure thing hidden in the house. I did not notice the thing hidden in the house, so let's go and find it. It's in Ice Main's house, apparently. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on here, but I did not notice that there's a letter right here under the pillow. I should have noticed that, but I didn't. Why will you not see me? You know how I feel. And I know you feel the same about me. Please, simply consent to speak with me. Just a word. A moment with you would be enough to ease my soul. If I cannot be with you, I will have to resort to something drastic. Please consider your feelings. Your husband is allowed to wait for weeks at a time with no consideration for your needs. I have always been there for you, and I will. I always will be. We should be together, dear Reese. Rigmar. Rizan. I found a note. You know, I found the letter, have you not? It is true that Rigmor and I ha ha had a brief affair, but that has ended. He refuses to let me go, though I fear that he has caused this trouble just to get rid of Engar. You must place a stop to this. My husband is a good man, does not deserve this fate. All right, so. We found the thing. I mean, it was pretty obvious what was going on. They, they, they weren't very subtle about the hints. Um, investigate a crime. You, you found the letter, but why would... This is an outrage. I never I only wanted the woman. Why did that fool have to choose the wolves? He could have simply left. She and I could have been together forever. You know my crime. And I know you must tell Harfang. Let's go to him. And I will accept my fate. Alright, so he's headed with me. This is not an escort mission that I mind too much. Because it's just right across town. You were to investigate a crime. Have you done this? I have done this. So Half Hand has invented this tale of theft over a woman by the All Maker. This will not go unpunished. By skull tradition, making a false accusation carries the same penalty as the crime that is claimed. In this case, either exile or death by sacrifice to the wolves. The verdict is yours to decide. The verdict is mine, is it? To the wolves. To the wolves, then! You have shown mercy, James Duran, allowing him to die with his honor. Perhaps you have some wisdom after all. Lead the prisoner outside that he may accept his sentence. The shaman will summon the cane lorn to perform their function. But first, accept this token. It is unlikely, but perhaps you, too, can be more like the wolves we revere. We get the helm of the wolf's heart. I never did look at the thing that he gave me. Um, right, so I just need to leave him outside. Uh, let's take a look at the mace that I got. It's not bad. I mean, it's not horrible. It's probably, I, I'm sure it is the best blunt weapon in the game. Um, but, can't compete. Can't compete. And that's sad, actually. That is sad. And it was an amulet you gave me, right? No, a helm. Uh, light armor, fortify, agility, fortify, sneak. Constantly, but... Well, light armor. So, come on. Let's go. You are to be fed to wolves. I hope you are happy with your sentence. I let you die with honor. Come with me outside. Where is the shaman? I take it you want something. Well, what is it? Where are you... Where are you going? Oh, no, we're doing it in here. This is where the wolves are. These are the ceremonial wolves. Go in there. Close the gate. He's going to try to punch him off? He is, and down he goes. And now the wolves want nothing to do with him. And away they go. What do you have on him? Nothing good, nothing good. Alright, I have completed the quest. You are welcome. Yes, he loves me now. He should. I did a lot of work for him. So, we have completed the quest. What would you, you have, have me do? Well, showing your loyalty and wisdom. But, there is one thing further I will require of you. Now you must prove your strength as a warrior. I wish for you to travel to the lake. I'll mark it on your map. Seek out Korst Windai, who has traveled there already. He will give you further instructions. Look for him on the northern shore of the lake. 
All right, so back to the lake once again. Shouldn't be that big of a journey, okay, really. Which way is south? Way. This way is south. Isn't it? No, this way is northeast. Wow. It is really hard with the white background to, sell, to, to tell which way the arrow is pointing. Uh, so it's a little bit like southwest of here. Let's put that back on. I can see the lake from here. Really? That was a far enough drop for it to hurt. Um, I need to talk to the giant glowing flame thing, I assume. He said he was on the northern shore. I don't see him here. I don't see him at all. Sp I need to travel. Right, he should be on the northern shore of the lake. That would be the middle of the lake. And there's a giant fireball there. So, there he is. That's the northeastern corner. But sure, whatever. How you doing? Uh, you've arrived. These are strange times, my friend. I am unsure what magic is being worked to cause such a disturbance on the lake, but you were sent here to prove your strength. Fire from water, flame through eyes. Strange indeed. Hartfang believes that a Draugr lord who lives beneath the lake is the source of this, but I'm not certain. I fear this could be a sign of the Blood Moon prophecy. So I pray to the Allmaker that this is not so. Blood Moon prophecy? It's an ancient prophecy, one that I hope is but a myth. It tells of a time when the moon above will turn blood red and the wolves that walk like men will walk the land. The prophecy tells of other signs that precede the blood moon, but they are not all easily interpreted. Let's speak about this at another time. For now, you are to prove your strength. I'm going to go down there and kill the guy, right? Uh, Hartfang has sent you here to show your strength and your ability to survive in the harshest of conditions. Beneath that lake, there are a series of ice caves. In one of those caves, you will find a slip, a dragger lord. Hartfang believes he is the one responsible for the disturbance on the lake. All right, so we need to head on down there. Can I rest? I can rest, which is good. I did level up last time I rested. Um, I put uh, my points in uh, speed, will power, and agility, I believe it was. Alright, so, um, let's drop a save. And head on down. Where is this cave? Here it is. Caves of Fjalding. If it's just going to be Draugr's, then I'm not going to have too, too hard of a time. If it's not one of those lords... I will try to remember to soul trap it, and we'll see um, how good of a soul it is. Um, I think I only have like a common, a petty, and a grand, so chances are it's going to go in the grand. I don't know if it's going to be better than uh, than the Golden Saint in terms of points, though. I think a Golden Saint was like 400 points. I heard something moan, but I guess it was nothing. Nice! Fire resist. Just, yeah. Wait, res Drain Magicka on self? Why would I want that? Who designs this crap? It's like you can have fire shield, you can resist fire, but you can have no magic. Man, just... I, I understand that's for a tank, but still, who puts that all together? Why would you put that last one on there? Um... God, this place is going to be huge. But I will find what I am looking for. Now there are wolves with them. Alright, something good? Give me something good. Bear boot. I'll take over Star Health Ordinary, because that was the best. Hey! You found me! You are a good it for hide and seek, I guess. Even though I was just, like, around the corner and not hiding. But still. Where's your dog? Well, wolf. Doesn't really matter. Dog, wolf. I guess it does. But doesn't matter because I kill him nonetheless. I need a bone meal, I guess. I forget why I like the bone meal, but I remember that I used it very often for, for something. Anything? Oh, this is just the white... Oh, no, 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 
This is the way to Aeslip's lair. Sweet. I thought that was going to be the way out. Let's go through here. Aeslip's lair. I'm on to you. I'm on to you good. Are you serious? It's going to be another complicated room. Alright. Uh, crossbow, distraction ring, store health, and that. Okay. We can do this, though. We can do this. Barrel! Uh, corpse. Uh, what do I want this for? I don't. <laughs> I don't. But I can take the ruby out of there. That's always nice. Uh, the rest you can keep. Okay. Um, now I start getting confused which way I've gone. I don't think I've gone this way. I haven't. Okay, you are brave or foolish to enter this place, Breton. But I sense a bit of wisdom in you, perhaps. I might kill you where you stand, were you to try and keep me from my task. But there are more dangerous things in these caves than this poor soul. Tell me your story. I was once a mage of the people who call themselves the Skull. I was powerful, mortal. Powerful beyond their reckoning, but I strayed. I delved into the black arts, became learned in the ways of necromancy. When this was discovered, I was cast out by my people. Alone, I wandered to this place. How you just wander under a lake? I continued to learn what I could of the ways of the living flesh and the energies that animate. I became a summoner. I communicated with the Daedra, and it was then that I learned of their machinations, their plans to destroy my people. A group of frost, frost Daedra have taken up residence and deep in the bowels of this island. I thought at first that it was my doing that I had somehow summoned these fiends, but they were beyond my abilities. I learned that they could that they would wipe this island clean of life, slaughter my people, and all we held dear. I knew I must act. I tried to warn my people, but I was an empty voice to them, as though I were dead. So I used my magic to erect a barrier deep in this ice, strong enough to contain these Daedra and keep them from overrunning the island the barrier held. For years I maintained it, but I grew old, and I knew that my death would mean the death of all life on Solstein. My life had to be extended, so I used my knowledge of the black arts and turned myself into the creature you see before you, a draugr, eater of flesh. But my life was infinite. I could keep the barrier intact so that my people might survive. And now you appear. To kill me, perhaps? You may have the power, but perhaps you have a greater purpose here. Uh, let us destroy this two the creatures together. This is wise. I will lower the barrier that keeps the demons at bay. You and I will be victorious as the lives of all those above are forfeit if we are not. Can I steal from you? Do you have anything worth stealing? No? So where are we, where are we going, buddy? Here's the barrier. Gonna let me through? I will kick so much ass. Let's go. To the caverns. So, uh, I assume that the other options that I had were pretty much to, to have him, uh... Oh, come on! What the hell? I was about to say this... Oh, it's a Dire Frost Atronach. It's an upgrade. So I'd say he should be dead by now. These Dire ones are a little bit stronger, though. I'm supposed to be resisting Magicka. What happened to that? But nonetheless, they have died. Now the Frost Atronox, I didn't... I never had this much trouble with them. These guys are definitely upgrades. Alright. Let's continue on. Dancing around the Frost Atronox. Ah, I brought, he brought a friend. Okay. Two more down. I hear another one coming from that way. Alright. There we go. That's worth selling. Those yeah, that that's it though. That's it. And I like this guy. He can keep up with me somewhat. Actually, he keeps up with me damn well. Right. Uh, where... Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, see, this is this is a typically a mission that I like. Go down here with a companion that can keep up, kill everything you see. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing here. I assume that if I didn't help him, or I just killed him straight off, that I'd be doing this solo. Instead of, uh, you know, like nothing being down here. I assume those were my options. So the data are trying to take over the island. That's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully I'm right. Is this worth it? It is. Glass is usually worth it. Alright, nothing more here. Let's head back the way that we came. See this is this is how you design dungeons. This this is something that it took them the entire game and what, two expansions? They got in the second expansion to figure out? that if you're going to put a dead end in a dungeon just put a treasure chest at the end that's all i'm asking it doesn't have to be spectacular items just just a little something to say hey you went the wrong way have a potion that that's not that's not asking too much is it i like see blood moon is starting to redeem the rest of the game all right my journal's been updated uh, it is done. My time is over. You have done a service here today. Both to me and to the people of this island. Now I may rest before I go. Take this. We have the strength of will to continue our own journey. And I got his ring. And down goes a slip. I didn't even get to trap his soul. Uh, how good is that amulet that you gave me? Amulet of... It, no, his ring. Uh, fortify willpower 10 points, fortify magicka 70 point, 75 points. What do I got? Fortify intelligence and fortify strength. Uh, uh, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> figure out off screen. That way I can just like save state to figure out which one's better. That's tough. That's tough. That is, that is a thinker, that one. Alright, so I can now return to Skull? Come on, return to Skull. I don't need to talk what to... This all about? <sighs> Damn it, not you. You. So I still need to talk to him. Okay. I still need to talk to the guy outside, but this was by far the fastest way of doing this. Uh, yeah, this way is south. Faster than going outside uh, the other way. Plus, I like to think that I did this the right way for once. A lot of quests I don't do the right way. Alright, so the thing is still there. But I swear I did it. He died. What of Aislip, my friend? So he is defeated. It seemed there was more to that creature than any of us had imagined. You have done well, James Duran. I, for one, would be proud to call you Skull. Return now to the Skull, Skull Village. I'll meet you there in a while. There are matters I must attend to. The thing is still going, though. It's still going. I take it you want something. Well, what is it? You've returned from the lake. I trust you completed your task. I did. You continue to surprise me, James Duran. I have matters to attend to. Now we will speak again soon. That, I promise you. What? The village is under attack by the werewolves. Outside. Quickly. Let me turn on Hearthheel before I go. <laughs> Alright, let's go take on werewolves. Werewolves! Werewolves everywhere! What the hell? He ran away from me. I was trying to hit him. Ah! Come on, swing! Swing faster! Come on. Kill! Yeah, don't stand in the way of me swinging my sword at the werewolf. Down he goes. Whoa! He 
like crushes down. All right. I'm trying not to to kill him. Like swing after he's dead. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. I freaking knew it. Okay, I will be right back. And I'm back. And I leave me alone. Uh, I missed something the first time that I was in uh, the that little dungeon down there. Uh, where I just finished off uh, a slip. Uh, what, there was one of the chests, the last one that I went to this time, had this belt in it. I can't believe I missed it right after he died. I went over and checked, and sure enough, there's the belt. Fortify health, 30 points. Fortify magicka, 30 points. Fortify fatigue, 50 points. We take a common disease. I don't know if that is going to affect me, the weakness to common disease, but the rest of it is is awesome. And so my health is glitched. For whatever reason, it says I have 355, I have 353 health. That doesn't make sense to me at all. But whatever, it's very good. So I will be using that from now on. I think I had... Uh, I don't even remember what I had. Was it this one? Fortify health, resist poison, fire shield, and fortify fatigue? I bet that was it. I bet that's what I was having on instead, but... No, this one is far better. So, we need to talk to him. And we need to try to head outside, and there are more werewolves. Let me drop another save, because hopefully I don't accidentally hit one of the skull guys this time. That would probably not be a good idea. You know, I'll just try to take my time here. There's no rush. The werewolves aren't that tough, even though they're all aggroed on me. D damn it. No, you. You die. Seriously, die. Alright, now careful. 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 I got him. I got him. And nobody hates me. Hooray, I did it. Let's heal a little bit because I let them hit me probably way too many times. That. Okay. So, what do you have on you werewolves? Do they really not have anything on them? Werewolves in the Great Hall. Get in there quickly. Wow, that was crazy. Quickly uh, into the Great Hall. Yes, go Some into the, the Great time. Hall. Fine, I'll go into the Great Wall well, the Great Hall. How the hell did you guys get in here? I just came from out whatever. A apparently I wasn't supposed to to do this the way that I did. I was supposed to come in from the outside and see that it was uh, under attack. Uh, so, hooray! Two more werewolves down! Uh, journal's been updated again. Skull guard that was inside is dead. Heartfang, however, is nowhere to be found. So, uh, dude, how you doing? The equipment isn't even that good. Dagger's okay, but the rest of it is crap. I bet he's upstairs. A cowering in fear. No? He's not in here. He was just here. I saw him. I just talked to him. He told me to go outside. So... Do I talk to I you then? You have been infected by these werewolves. What? I've only just arrived to the Tori. It was good you were here to protect these people. You said I was infected? You've done well by the skull. My worst fears have been realized, James Duran. These creatures are werewolves, as you surely know. This is not a good omen for our village, and I have more troubling news. I have used my magic to detect any of the infection these beasts leave in their wake. You, my friend, have been infected. I was told that I could not be infected with any disease. I have that on shaky authority. The infection seems innocent enough. Some weakness, perhaps. Sometimes the effects are hardly noticeable, however, in three days' time, the victim will become a werewolf himself. It is a fate I would not wish upon my greatest foe during these three days, though. A simple cure disease spell can stop the infection. I beg you to do this. Until then, I fear I cannot allow you to be a part of our community, perhaps infecting others. When you have been cured, I hope you will return to us again. So... What? I have an option here? I can... I can be a werewolf or I can't? Um, what am I supposed to do when I'm a werewolf? 
Alright, let's drop a save. And uh, let's just go like right on the outskirts of town here. And I can wait three days right out here. I don't think there's any enemies around here. Um, apparently I'm still in town. How about here? There we go. Rest for 24 hours. And then uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm very curious about turning into a werewolf, to be honest with you. I, I want to know what that, that's all about. So that's two days. And one more. Come on. I clearly clicked on it. Fine, just... Are you kidding me? No. Pick a way you want me to find whatever there. I swear that scroll thing gives me more trouble than probably anything left in the game.